It was on the 1st of May, 1486, that Christopher Columbus first presented his plan to find an ocean shortcut to the Spanish royal family. Now, even though we think of 1492 when we think of Columbus, it's interesting that it took him six years of lobbying to get permission to go on the voyage. He had guts, and the royals were naturally skeptical, because the oceans were poorly mapped at the time, and many thought the world was flat. But on his first journey, he would wander around the Caribbean, and satirist Stan Freeberg reminded us that Columbus intermingled with native peoples when they found him trying to plant the flag on the shore. First I stick the flag in the sand, and then I... Watch yourself, Admiral. Natives, they may be hostile. Well, we're all a little hostile now and then. Some of us are able to sublimate, others can't adjust. You know how it is. Freeberg's delightful take on Columbus ends with Columbus trying to cash a check to get some money to buy one of the islands. If you'll direct me to the nearest bank, I'll get a check cash. You out of luck today. Bank's closed. Oh, why? Columbus Day. Oh, yeah. After returning to Spain from the first voyage, Columbus made three other trips to the New World. He was quite a traveler and he all began his lobbying efforts to discover something on this date, way back in 1486. I'm Dennis Daly. Oh, yeah.